Barack Obama made a rare presidential visit to the Kennedy Space Center to sell his vision for the future. Not just to continue on the same path, we want to leap into the future. We want major breakthroughs, a transformative agenda for NASA. Touring a commercial rocket factory, he made the point that America's future in space will come from the combined efforts of NASA and private enterprise. American astronauts on board Discovery return to Earth next week. Just three more missions are planned before the shuttle program ends. And Barack Obama's decision to can the Constellation project that was to replace it has been widely criticised. But the president says this isn't the end of human space exploration. Designs for a new rocket will be finished by 2015 and there are greater challenges ahead. By the mid-2030s, I believe we can send humans to orbit Mars and return them safely to Earth. And a landing on Mars will follow. And I expect to be around to see it. One of the biggest concerns for the area they call the Space Coast is jobs. And NASA staff have wondered what the end of the shuttle program meant. I should have a plan B, but I don't have a good plan B yet. I could go back to being an aircraft mechanic, or maybe I'll stick around here and uh, drive a truck. I don't know. Barack Obama says his plans will provide 2,500 jobs. The US president was born the year John F. Kennedy vowed to put man on the moon and he says he understands the importance of space exploration to the American psyche. But ambitious plans cost money and take time and the argument over the country's direction in space is far from over. Lisa Miller, ABC News, Washington.